As I explained to the Honorable uh, National Assembly member <coughs> and the team leader for this uh, committee, um, we conducted an exercise, registration exercise of those vendors that existed uh, in Bamba Tenda and Yeli Tenda uh, prior to the start of the construction works of the bridge. So um, in 20, this was 2012, 2013 we revised the list, in 2014 also we made another revision. But this was jointly done by, with, the, with the representatives from African Development Bank. You know African Development Bank is the uh, funding agency for this project. So they are concerned that uh, the, the vendors around there who are getting their livelihood uh, cannot just be leave that place like that. They have to get something to continue their life on. So they requested the government to give them uh, compensation. And this compensation is in the form of uh, a market stall that is going to, is <coughs> that is being built. Uh, and, uh, and and both Farafenya side and uh, which is uh, Babatenda and Soma side that is Yeletenda. So here we are uh, at the side of uh, the stall being built uh, market for those stall owners in, uh, at uh, Yalitenda, that is summer side. And another, a replica of this is taking place in Farafenye to accommodate those uh, vendors on the, at Bamba Tenda side. And how many stalls do we have here? We have 150 stalls. Yeah. At uh, Bamba Tenda? Yeah. At Bamba Tenda? At, uh, uh, so yeah, 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 yeah. Somewhere here. What about Farafenye? Yeah, the same. The same. Yeah. 150 stars. Yeah. <coughs> okay. In terms of monetary compensation, how much? Uh, they were each given 15,000, 
we, we saw that they move where they are. Because at the time we were doing the access, we need to move them. They were supposed to wait until we finish the markets. We give them that money each to be able to transport their goods to the new market. How long will the construction of this market last? Uh, it will last for 10 months. Both it's market. a contract of 10 months Yeah, for both markets. They are going simultaneously. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is at the, the bridge, and here we are at the uh, market that is, uh, you know, proposed to be constructed, market. a proposed market, to, you know, to compensate uh, those uh, you know, business people at the bridge. What is your impression about the state of work yeah, you've seen? Definitely, we are happy with the work at the bridge because now the bridge is completed, as you can see by yourself. Um, now the vehicles can, you know, pass through the bridge, though the ferry also is in service, which we, you know, came to notice. and. And uh, we really welcome that one because there might be other vehicles that might not be safe to, you know, um, to drive on the bridge, so they can use the ferry. Okay, and animals also, like cattle, they cannot, you know, walk on the bridge. They can be easily transported by using the ferry. Mm -hmm. So I think ferry service is highly recommended to be, you know, to be in place until, you know, further, you know, when other developments are made. Now, but coming to the, uh, the, the markets, because there are supposed to be two markets constructed in Farafeni and in Soma to compensate, you know, the vendors that are, are normally at the, at, the, at the ferry side, landing side. Now, um, this is a way forward, but uh, what we want is let them take high speed or they take, uh, they, 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 they are quick in the, in the work because the vendors, we still see the readers, some of them are there and it's not safe for them. So when trucks are coming or when vehicles are coming from the bridge, who knows what is going to happen? So they, they are, you know, they are, they are selling. We want the council to collaborate, you know, with the, with the, with the guys constructing, so that those women or children who are selling there or men, let them leave the place. But they cannot also, maybe, you know, they cannot leave the place since the place is not ready. The market is not ready. Mm -hmm. So we learned that there is going to be 150 stores that are going to be constructed. Okay, but we also learned that there were other people who came after the survey. Mm -hmm. So I, they are not catered here. I don't know what the council will do so that those, all, those people also uh, have a place where they can sell. That's a concern. Okay, what about the access route on both sides? It's still not... Uh, 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 the, the, the work is in progress. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and we hope so. We are going to engage NRA, we are going to engage Ministry of Works to ensure you know, that you know, the work is done. You know, because the access roads are still, you know, they are still challenged to the transportation because the, it's all geared towards free movement of goods and services. So once the access roads are not completed, it's still going to, you know, have an impact on the free movement of goods and services. So we want to, um, uh, we want to urge the Minister of Works in collaboration with the, you know, with, with the funders to ensure that the work is started now. Thank you. Very much. Uh, thank you.
Uh, thank you very much, uh, Majority Leader. We have just tracked uh, this uh, Basse Fatoto um, road project, and here we are at the bridge linking Basse to Willy. But uh, according to discussions, uh, the contractors are experiencing some difficulties with uh, the people, the communities here concerning about the road project. Now, what advice do we have as a National Assembly member for the contractors and uh, the communities to facilitate the easy flow of the road project? Well, I think uh, one of the key things that the project coordinators and the implementing partners would have done is to engage on vigorous uh, sensitization programs to bring all the stakeholders on board and then tell them all the, the merits and the merits of the project. I think that is very key because the information, it seems, is not flowing. And as we said earlier on in the morning, they need also to look at the issue of local knowledge in the communities so that the consultants and the engineers will have to work closely with the local residents and also the beneficiaries to explain the impact of the training program, the road construction programs. But one of the key obstacles that they have faced and as we were told in the morning is the absence of an EIA which has not been completed by the Department of uh, National Environment Agency and I think that is very key. So in future I think uh, what did the minister and NRA needs to do is to ensure that the EIA is fully complemented and then implemented and the validation is done before they go into the signing and work process of the project proper. Yeah, and uh, also we have uh, gone to a village where it is um, uh, the, the, the project has you know heavily affected them in terms of rains that you have for the contractors and of course you talk about the stakeholder cooperation. Yeah, it, it all comes down again to the, the knowledge and the understanding of the communities, the beneficiaries. They need to be told in advance that this is the construction and the level of the road, what it is going to be. If you all can see that place is a slopey area and it is almost a swampy area. And if you look at the level of the of the road from the other side of the, of the, of the community where it is very high, and if they want to take that level, then that means uh, the whole compound is almost two and a half meters deep on, uh, behind, below the road line of the road so those things when the water comes it will just flow in and don't run into the other side of the compound so i think that uh, that sensitization needs to be done and the culverts need to be prepared in advance so that uh, the waterway can have its way to be able to go into the streams if that is not done then more compounds are going to be devastated and the impact is going to be very high and we are almost getting deep into the rainy season accommodation is becoming a problem we have seen that the whole family has been moved to another compound where the they are standing, staying, and that is also costing a lot of havoc. So I think all those issues boil together. Will what the bottom line will be to understand the project, its impacts, and what they need to do with the beneficiaries and stakeholders. And as I said, they need to you take advantage of the Basse radio and other community radios, and other print media, and use the expertise of the members of the technical advisory committee of URL to give them advice, technical advice, where all heads of institutions, departments, and agencies are members of that committee. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're most welcome. As the chairperson of the National Assembly Select Committee on these uh, government projects, we have just tracked uh, the Basse Fatoto Road, and here we are at the um, Basse um, Wuli um, Bridge that is going to link Basse to uh, Wuli. And of course, we have also went to um, is it Koina, where the, the, the another bridge will be constructed to link the other side. A very important uh, fatoto to uh, Willie, and this has been uh, the, 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 the voice of uh, the, uh, the, the cry of this, the voice of these uh, uh, people in URL. How important do you think this uh, road project is going to make uh, in the socio-economic development of people in URL? Thank you so much. Um, really, I'm impressed with the work that is going on uh, because last year we came here at this right moment, we found the ground very bushy. Uh, but today when you come here, you can see already that a work has been, a great work has been done. And we have plied through the road, we have seen the road construction also, the first layer, you know, is gone um, up to um, a village called uh, Keneba Ka Kantora, and as a not to uh, Kaina. So the level of implementation, we are, we, are, we are quite satisfied, though there are challenges, as you can see. Um, the environmental impact assessment report is not yet, you know, we see today that before any project is started, let there be a serious environmental impact assessment before it kick off. Because if not, 
when eventualities occur, you would not know the magnitude it will it will be, and you would not know how to find solution. And uh, we have also seen the in the project the community we are involved at the beginning because we learned that 20 heads of villages we are consulted and we are sensitized on the project. So that really shows that you know the involve, involvement of the people is key. And the people you know, must participate in the project. This is what we want to ensure that let people know that the project is their project. It's meant for the people. So they must you know, show ownership and they must make sure that they monitor it alongside. If they have seen anything that is not to the interest of the project, they must make an alarm. They must make an alarm. And the other one is like um, we want NRA mm -hmm. to come with uh, uh, acts or policies that are going to ensure that let people not encroach on roads. Now, and if there is road construction taking place, if you are a victim, if the road, your compound is along the road, let them make sure that the, 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 the people are compensated. And, 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 and let, the, let, the, let the road go with the right dimension. Now, you cannot come construct a road, you come to a particular place, you narrow it because it's going to af affect Honorable South House or the Governor's House. No. And let, let, let the required measurements be implemented and let the victims be compensated. And we also want them to, uh, NRA, to work hand in glove and the Ministry of Work with NDME so that people who are going to be affected at the end of the day could be compensated. You know, like we have seen a community where the whole house, household has been you know, evacuated. You know, they, are, they are also you know, they are desperate right now as we are speaking. They need help. But because of the road construction, Every development goes with some, 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 you know, uh, some effects we all know. But at the end of the day, we should be able to tackle all this problem. We would like to thank the Chinese people for the cooperation and the support that they are giving to Gambia. This is you know, China-Gambia relationship. But we want the relationship also to be both sides. You know. Not only China is only giving, but Gambia also to think what to you know, take to China, what, what they can provide to the people of China, so that our relationship will not going to be parasitic relationship, but rather than a mutual way of life. So we thank everybody being participating in the exercise, NRA, Ministry of Works, uh, Gambia TV, Radio and Television. We will thank you for the uh, support that you give to us, so that people know what we are doing, what the committee is doing. And we want everybody in the National Assembly to know that this committee is out there to promote efficiency, to promote that there is value for money in our projects. No matter what, it's a grant, but at the end of the day, taxpayers' money will be put in since it's, uh, it's, it's co-funded by China and Gambia. So we thank everybody, the committee members, for the support that they have shown during the whole exercise. But this is not the end. We are moving forward to the OMVG project in Jara Soma and the Ndemban Skill Centre. So thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mustafa Adabo. Yeah. Um, we have just tried uh, uh, Fatoto, uh, is it uh, Base Fatoto? And uh, we've just uh, seen the level of work you're doing uh, and, uh, you know, the community. We, we just want to ask you, the challenge is, you know, you are facing with the community in terms of this uh, project. Uh, thank you very much uh, for coming. I first of all want to pay a visit to this project site. This project, as you know, is a very, very important project, not just for Basse, but the country at large. Mm -hmm. this, uh, this, this they are coming at this time is very, very key. As you've asked, you, as you have just mentioned concerning the problems, is one of the challenges like uh, the, the properties mm -hmm. in the right of ways. Currently, we are in the rainy season, and then the road, as you know, is expected to go about 10 meters wide. And then some of these structures, facilities, gardens, buildings, and houses of residents, some of them are right in the right of ways, and which uh, has been causing problems to them due to mm -hmm. the rains. So far, so good. We've been faced with some of these people's problems. Some of them have, has, have, have had their houses flooded with water, and then some of them has have their houses fell down with uh, maybe effect of water. Despite that, we, we come up with solutions to see how best we can address and mitigate some of these challenges and problems. But in the long run, in the shortest time, we'll be able to face some, I mean, uh, solve some of these problems as soon as possible because we're working on how to relocate some of them, the victims, and, and all that. 
Now, as the project goes on, some compounds will be demolished. Now, you talk about compensation. Now, who are the, who the people who are going to uh, compensate these um, people whose houses are going to be demolished? Okay, you, as, as you've asked, um, usually when uh, structures are in the right of ways, mm -hmm. facilities and properties, uh, lands authority come in to, 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 to check which they've done. They've taken, they've taken the data and information of properties and people who are affected. This information will be gathered and properties based on whatever they have will be valued. Mm -hmm. Those values will be uh, budgeted for or against costs. So some of these costs is what they will use to pay or compensate, this, the, compensate the victims. So the people who, whose fences or houses or gardens or whatever is affected must be compensated and they will be mm -hmm. compensated. Usually, when this, because the ministry is the focal point, mm. and when the funds come, usually it goes to the ministry. And for every affected person, uh, it's being compensated through the ministry. Yes, the Ministry of Transport, Works and Infrastructure. Thank you very much. Yes, you are welcome, sir. Thank you very much. The whole nation that constituted uh, OMV, as the uh, MP rightly said. So this is an, it's an energy project. These four, four countries came together to facilitate energy for the four member states. That is Gambia, Guinea-Bissau, Guinea-Conakry, and Guinea-Bissau, Senegal. Guinea -Bissau, Senegal. And uh, because energy is very important, that is power. They have 15, they're going to constitute 15 substations for these four member countries. In Gambia, we have only two stations, that is so much here. Fifteen? Fifteen substations. From the main dam. From the main dam, San Bangala. Mm -hmm. Gambia is two stations, Soma and Brikam. We have four stations in Senegal, four in Guinea, uh, Conakry, five in Guinea, uh, no, four in Guinea, Bissau, five in Guinea, Conakry. Mm -hmm. Together, 15 substations. When they are all built, they'll get their source from Sambangal. These stations together will support, facilitate having uh, energy for these four member states. Yeah, just to add on to that, uh, uh, this uh, four countries uh, project is interconnection line. It means, uh, you know, all these four countries will be connected to one another. You know, from Senegal will be connected to the Gambia. And Gambia will get this connection to Farafanya, no bank. It will come to Jara Somalia, down to the Gambia. Is it going to be connected to the previous system? Uh, the knowledge, knowledge system. Knowledge system. Mm -hmm. When the dam is ready, it will be connected to the knowledge system. And the knowledge system will get the source from the, the dam. Instead of using uh, central, yeah, central. To, uh, so it's now uh, dam. Directly from the dam, from the dam. no, no, from uh, generator. generator. So what of uh, like you know, if the what, what, how do you see future challenges? Because the dam is built in another country. Mm -hmm. Now the electricity is supplied in the Gambia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What of if the dam has a problem? You know, now the system is already there. It's going to be in Gambia, for example. It's going to be a lack of. It's going to be abandoned. It's going to be abandoned. Uh, we'll get the source from the dam, but any 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 um, uh, problem before it uh, is regulated, we'll get the source from the same source that is Navek, and Navek is going to be the uh, uh, the, uh, the, the host. The host. When the project phase out, everything is going to be uh, left over to Navek. So, as he said, interconnection line is going to start from here, all the way right down to the camp. Mm -hmm. Alongside, you, you have a uh, 40 meter, the line uh, range, yeah. that is our uh, line, is going to go through that. That line range has to pass through some communities, farm farmlands mm -hmm. and their, their areas. Yeah. That way, a survey was conducted. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, through that survey, all the people affected, we call it PAP, people affected by the project, were identified. They were issued uh, form 
to know that you know your line is within the area. In that way, before we do anything, those people affected, we should pay them. We have we, 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 we open a file for them. They have files we have verified, and uh, we have started paying them. Yeah, we have compensation. Compensation. Yes. yes. What's, them, what's the what's the minimum rate for compensation? Uh, six thousand three hundred. There is we have the highest is one, one, one million. million. One million. We have some goes with hundred hundred and something thousand, three hundred thousand, hundred thousand. Like their properties or the land? Land, land, okay. land. No, I think uh, the compensation for for that aspect is uh, the you know the land is going to pass to no. some people's farmland. Yeah. Okay. You know, some trees will be cut down as a result. Yes. Those trees are going to be compensated. If there is any cropping that was carried out. Yes, I did. Like farming activity. That, that was also going to be compensated. That's how they yes, collect and was done. They they value your land. Value the crop you grow there, the number of trees growing on the on the on the, on the, on the, on the land. Okay. The, the tree, the, the crop, they value everything plus your land together. They will give you the amount that you should benefit, and that is just to give you a, a way of compensation. But still, after when we are ready, we constituted everything. That still that same land belongs to you. Nobody will take it from you. The only thing you cannot do is to grow trees that will be taller. Within, within that realm, uh, but otherwise, any any if it is not tree, anything you are doing, like somebody have this land, we compensate him for his mm -hmm. After our intervention, next year he can still. Come natural you can't do nothing with those challenges but as long as other challenges that are man-made we we'll try to work mitigating the challenges so that the project will be timely delivered thank you so we thank you so much thank yeah. you so much we also thank you for so much and just to continue add, on monitoring yeah just to add yeah. uh, just to inform the, this guy from that all the transformers that are supposed to be in the come here in the in summer here and become uh, all in, in town in, uh, in, in the country. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are all in the town. <laughs> yeah, and mm -hmm. all the materials uh, required for this uh, project mm -hmm. are all available. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, we are also very happy to receive you. We mm -hmm. thank you so much for your time. Mm -hmm. Although it is Sunday, but as the tightness day, you came and called us. We are all the way mm -hmm. come. We came. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> so we are. We are we are all Gambian, this is our country, this is our opportunity, this is our project. So let us all come together, have it as our baby, and you know, implement it from the starting to our end. So we thank all of you. For him, not today, me and him, we know each other a long, long time. Yeah.